You can tell from the brass bits, the crankshaft and the pistons that this was a pump, but in its time it was a lifesaver. What do you think it was? It was a pump used to supply air to divers. About the turn of the century, they had to send divers down below the sea to do various jobs and also into flooded mines, and they needed better equipment than they had. To begin with, it was extremely primitive, as primitive as this, a set of bellows. You can imagine that if you're down underneath the water on a lifeline in an airline supplied with bellows from the top, you're greatly at risk. So they had to learn their safety messages and know them pretty well. You can't generate a lot of pressure with a set of bellows, so in time, they were replaced by things much more sophisticated, and this was one of them. It was the pump used by the US Navy to send air down to their divers under the sea. It's a wonderful bit of work, but of course it had to generate a lot of pressure, so on each of these big wheels you had a handle. You had one man on this side, one man on the other, and they could crank it and really do quite a bit of work on it. That generated a good lot of pressure, but of course if the diver had to go deeper, the pressure got even greater still. So you could take these handles off, that's a one-person handle, and replace it on each side with that, a two-person handle, and then you had four men cranking away, generating a tremendous pressure that was enough to send a diver down 270 feet, and that's pretty deep. Well, what was the diver in on the other end? Something like this, a suit that completely encased him, because the continuous supply of air had to be trapped in some way, and you can see a suit like that trapped the diver as well. It had to be watertight for one thing, so it came with things rather like shoe horns that were used to open up the cuffs. You'd poke them into there, the diver would push his arm through, and you'd let that rubber cuff go, which sealed around his wrists and stopped the water getting back in. But encased in this canvas suit and carrying his bag with great leaden boots on his feet to stop him floating with the air, and behind that mask he would plod around doing whatever he had to do. Well, it worked, but it wasn't wonderfully safe, particularly up at this end. So in time, that was replaced by this, the hard hat. And that copper dome was not only safer, it gave a lot more freedom for the diver to move his uh, head around. Well, all that was very cumbersome. You had a copper helmet on, you had leaden boots on, you had a canvas suit, you had an airline and a lifeline going up to a huge pump. It was very, very cumbersome indeed. And it all came to an end with this, the development of the modern scuba equipment. And now, it's so simple, you simply take your air down with you. Curiosity.